Ah. <laughs> uh, one, I love CeeDee Lamb swagger. I've loved it since he was at the University of Oklahoma, beating up on my boys at Texas. I love everything about how he plays the game. James, there has been a lot of dialogue, you and I have had it as well, about is CeeDee Lamb proven he is a number one wide receiver? Yeah. I believe CeeDee Lamb is an elite wide receiver. I believe CeeDee Lamb is an incredibly talented wide receiver. I think he's one of the best five wide receivers in the game right now, but I don't necessarily believe he is a number one. I will get into that later. Yeah. But you in 2012 led the league in receiving yards. Yeah. No, you led the league in receiving touchdowns yeah. with 14 of them, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So you know wide receiver play better than anybody mm -hmm. on national television. Has CeeDee Lamb proven he's a number one wide mm -hmm. receiver? These last three weeks, yep. And the reason why I say that is because the main question with C.D. Lamb is get your butt out of the slot. Go out here and make some of them big time catches, run these big time routes to where you got Slay on you and you outside these numbers and there's only two, three routes to run. Slay knows that and you still have to win, right? And lately, Coach Mike has been putting him out there and he has been winning. And I got some plays to show you Ooh. that this is really like number one type stuff. We know what he does in the slot, but outside that number one, we really don't know how good he is. Right here against the Ram, we call this a little Dino route, but I want you to look at the back angle. <laughs> uh, I gotta go somewhere, right? This corner All knows in that, the ball that ball yeah, this corner knows <laughs> that, hey, late. I cannot, he ain't gonna run no out route and CD Lamb still winning in the inside. And then right here, this is what you cannot teach, right? One hand, two hands, that's one the, on one, mano y mano. But he started at the number one, though, which is cool. But just the big-time playmaking ability. Mm. But the, the second-to-last play before on the slant against the Giants, that is one-on-one, -on -one inside leverage. You still have to win inside and make a really tough catch, right, with Dak Prescott putting the ball in that window. The last three weeks, C.D. Lamb has showed that I'm that dude, I'm that number one wide receiver, and I could go anywhere on this football field and win. And he showed us that. So if he would have got up there and said anything else, we all would have been looking at him like he tripping. So I expected, <laughs> you know, him to say that and feel like he's the best receiver in the National Football League. Yeah, he should absolutely say that. And I think he's been the number one receiver there. I think he's been he's a still, number one receiver. Yeah, yeah. And I, I don't know, my Cowboys fans would probably be mad about this too, but I don't think this offense looks the same without him. Mm. Yeah, Absolutely. I agree with that. I agree okay. With that. I don't want like you know, people to be getting upset. CD Lamb is a really, really good player. I disagree. I do think he's a number one receiver. He's certainly the number one receiver for the Dallas Cowboys that we think is one of the top teams in the league and is in Super Bowl contention, going to be in the playoffs, putting up massive numbers. Dak's putting up big numbers, in part because of CD's production mm -hmm. and those big time plays. I mean that that ball might have made it there next week if we had played <laughs> we played it in slow motion. Thank God he has some separation. Right? <laughs> so, I mean, yes, I think CD should say this. I think he's the number one receiver. I think he's a fantastic talent. I think he was the number one receiver after last year. I thought he had closed, closed the book on those questions after last season. This offense doesn't look the same. They can't do the things that he does. I think he makes everyone on that offense better because of his talent. He's absolutely a number one receiver. For sure. You know what's funny? It's like a lot of um, old Wide receivers, they all say, oh, he's CD, and CD Lamb is not no number one. And I'm thinking, like, why? And they all say what you just said. Oh, he's, he's sometimes in the slot a lot, this, that, and the third. I'm thinking, like, if, if this is my best player on offense, which he is, right. quarterback or whatever other position, he's the best player on that, on that offense. So you can put him outside, inside, reverses. You, you do everything with your best player. I look out of the way when I played with Tyreek Hill, right? And I even heard, before I go to that one, Deshaun Jackson, I thought he was the number one. They had to show an outside, inside, doing reverses, wildcat, did everything. So I'm thinking, like, if, if you're versatile, you can do everything. Why is that a knock on your game? Tyreek Hill, he goes, he's, he lines up everywhere. Motion, fake motion, backfield, wide, wide out, in a the slot. They put him everywhere. When I watch CeeDee Lamb, he is a special player. He was special in college. Yeah. And now I watch him now, his after the catch is amazing. Mm -hmm. You talk about his right, he, he can run routes, mm -hmm. he can catch the ball, and he can make you miss, and, he, and, his, and his yak after the catch is amazing. Yeah. So when I ask about who's the number one, why wouldn't it be, why wouldn't it be C.D. Lane? Well, I think the reason why is even when you hear the cornerbacks come out that they could be old, they could be like me. Uh -huh, okay. uh, even when you hear them come out okay. and say, I don't think C.D. Lamb is the number one because he hasn't shown to play on the outside consistently. So, now he is, yeah, yeah. and that's why he's in that well, okay, conversation. Well, hold on, so, hold on. so another thing I want to talk about is <clears throat> last year, now, now I, I, I'm big on numbers, I'm big on I'm big on game tape, I'm big on big games, and I'm big on numbers. And he checks all them boxes. Last year, they, they, they put him as an all-pro. Mm -hmm. That's hard, hard to, to do. do. Hope, no. All-pro 
doing is easy. We just talked about how good Stephon Diggs really is. He, and when he was in Minnesota, no all pros, no pro bowls, none of that. Yeah. You look at CeeDee Lamb, when they got rid of Amari Cooper, I was like, oh, I don't know about this move. Yeah. Why the hell would they do that? Everyone was nervous about that. Now I know why, because they have a number one in their own draft pick, CeeDee Lamb. Let me chime in if I may. Let me chime in as a, as, a, as a resident defender on this desk. The reason that I would say, like, CeeDee Lamb isn't the number one, that people are saying isn't a number one. He obviously is the number one on okay. that team, and he is a beast. I'm reminded of the 2012 to 2017 conversation, my favorite conversation in football on defense. Richard Sherman or Pat P? Yeah. Sherman or Pat P? Who you taking? Sherman or Pat P? Is it Patrick Peterson? Do you like Sherman? I was always That's like... Easy. That's an easy one. For me, I was like, I got to take Patrick Peterson because he travels everywhere. Yeah. He plays inside. He plays outside. He'll travel with the best defender. Sherm, first ballot Hall of Famer. You could argue the best cornerback of the generation, but Sherm was going to stay on the left side. Yeah. And as a defender, yeah. I respected the person who traveled everywhere uh -huh. more because that to me is like, that's a higher level of skill, higher level of ability. Yeah. I'm not knocking CeeDee Lamb because Mike McCarthy's genius. I think what Mike McCarthy has done with CeeDee Lamb mm. has been genius. Mm. But when I think about what you have to do with CeeDee Lamb, CeeDee Lamb eating has caused other people to starve because the Cowboys scheme up CeeDee Lamb to be open. Mm -hmm. So as opposed to just going out and saying, hey, whoever wins, win, Dak Prescott, throw it to the best player. They're scheming CeeDee Lamb, no which doubt. is why Brandon Cooks, more often than not this year, has not eight. Yeah. I think about it the same thing defensively with the 49ers last year. Nick Bosa had 18 and a half sacks. Mm -hmm. The Niners only had 44, because D'Amico Ryan schemed Nick Bosa to be open. The mm -hmm. Eagles, you Can know I, this better yeah, than yeah, most. Yeah. The Eagles defensively were like, hey, y'all just go hunt. Whoever wins, Let's, win. Let's stick to the offensive side. You said some things, because I, I think that uh, Sherman was a really, really great player. Sherman's well, a great Sherman's first ballot Hall of Famer. First ballot. First ballot. But, but, being first first ballot. Those dudes. But, but versatile, I think, would go to Patrick Peterson, right? Yeah. Same thing with CeeDee Lamb. I think it's a blessing that he could do everything outside, inside. I like that. If I'm a coach or coordinator, why, why wouldn't I scheme up for my best player? Every team I've ever sure. no doubt. seen or been on, they, they scheme for the best player. Yeah. So, so uh, another thing you said um, <clears throat> about scheming up for all the, the top guys. Mm -hmm. So I think that Devontae Smith, I think he's damn good. Of yeah. course. Of right? Course. But the number one is A.J. Brown. Yeah. A lot, oh, Devontae, my bad. Yeah, I went to Adams. Yeah, okay, good. Yep. They, they both good. But they scheme up things for A.J. Mm -hmm. That's how it works. You do number one, you will get more targets on right. any team. That, that's my thing. So when you when y'all say this about City Land that they 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 they, they scheme it up for them and they design it for them, that only matters. So, See, a while ago I did say this real quick and I'm done because people think I'm linked lying. All right, they think I hate the Cowboys. But I really don't. I tweeted this out. I don't know if you guys can see it. I think I, put it on there for me. <laughs> I was saying like everybody's always hating on this dude. I don't know what it is with people hating on City Land. Yeah. He's an elite wide receiver. Yeah. It's time to give this dude his credit, James. I show, but give him his credit. Last, hold on, real quick. In the last three weeks, like I said, he's shown that. But when Amari Cooper was there, he didn't touch outside because Amari Cooper was the bona fide number one receiver winning outside. But he's not there anymore. I understand right. that. Right? And he was, and he was even, drafted there. Even too. last so he was year, a young boy. your all pro year, he lived in the inside. That, that's all I'm saying. Now everybody's seeing how versatile CD Lamb is going on the outside, going on the inside. Coach Mike being able to say, okay, you can win on all these routes, and I'm going to scheme this stuff up for you. I play with a lot of really good receivers. That happens. The number one receiver, when you come in there on Monday, Tuesday, right. how can we get on the ball? Exactly. You can know JJ sitting in there. I understand all that, but you have to have the ability to win on all that stuff. C.D. Lamb has not showed us the ability to win on the outside consistently, consistently. really since these last three games, and that's why we're having this conversation. So this is really just a conversation about principle because he is the number one wide receiver in Dallas, a no team doubt. that, again, is a top offense top five that is league. contending for a Super Bowl. He puts up numbers. They have production. The offense doesn't look the same without him. So he's just a wide receiver, but he's not like – the kind of wide receiver we want him to be as a number one receiver. Maybe we need to just expand the idea of what a number one receiver is, because to me, he is a number one receiver. So if he is the number one receiver, how is he not a number one hey, receiver? I would, say, you know, that point, point, I would okay. say it's the same way we say so-and-so is a friend is the franchise quarterback, but he's not a franchise That's quarterback. That's disrespectful we said to that, CD okay. Lamb. Well, we because, said that. C, because CD Lamb would have this kind of production as good of a player as he is with several other oh, quarterbacks. He is that good. I so, don't think he got the best quarterback in the league. That. To me, that is saying that this quarterback would only have success. This is uh, CD Lamb is Brock Purdy. It's, he's only having success in this particular system with this this that game is, being set That's up. where I am. I think CD Lamb is eating like this because of Mike McCarthy. That's where, so, but, I mean, so, I'm, but, but, but last year, that wasn't Mark McCarthy's offense. It was still Kelly, the brilliance. It was brilliance. Like, Shady, I mean, 
Uh, there, of of CD Lamb's, Lamb's 14 targets, of his 14 targets, what? six were outside. I literally am watching it right now in the first okay, place. Okay, that's, that's cool. So right, the point I'm making is like, it, I got there's no, you. there's nothing wrong with what we're saying. No, he is elite. No, he is, and you can both be. You say, okay, so I, I, I'll give you one more, and I'm done with it, right? Because maybe I he is elite. Okay, so if you guys remember, majority of the wide receivers that we interviewed, they never really have Tyreek Hill top five in the league yeah. until this year. Yes, yes, yes. And I always, I would ask dudes like, and I won't even say their names. They, yes. You know, of course. I'm thinking like, bro. And my head, I'm like, you, you, you not better than Tyreek Hill. Yeah. But I would ask, why you don't have him in the top five? And they give me all these reasons. It's the same He's principle. in that slot. It's you know, he don't really principle. run the route. I'm thinking, like, forget the routes and all that bull crap. If you get busy and you show me these numbers, how are you not elite wide receiver? It's, it's, it's all to me shady about it. If I'm a running back, I don't run nobody over. I don't do this. But I get busy every... Let me, let me do we care? Like, to me, it's but about... It's hold on, James. To me, it's about interpretation. Okay. Um, I had to play against you. Had to play against you every day in practice, 2013, 2014. Because Alfred Morris was on Washington, Alfred Morris also had to play against him. Alfred Morris had more yards than you. Okay. But I would never have said Alfred Morris is better than you because I'm like, that Shanahan scheme yeah. is allowing Alfred Morris to rush for 1,400 yards. And so I'm standing back and I'm saying, though Alfred Morris has more yards than LaShawn McCoy, yeah. he is not better than LaShawn. But we're not, arguing that, CD, the, but we're not talent, arguing that CD Lamb is the best wide receiver in the league. He thinks he is, and I have no problem with that. But we're not arguing that he's the best wide receiver in the league. We're saying, is he a number, number one? one? Yes. And he is. Come on now. By, by your interpretation. Yeah. But I, I, that's, I have no issue with the I mean, but the problem, he, he, all, all pro, and he's and every he's getting busy. Shady, he's, he's, he's getting better and better. And, and real quick, the Alfred Morris thing, like, he didn't have no real talent. He had yards. Yeah, you see why he didn't get paid. You see what I'm saying? I feel you. Because there's, 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 a, there's an eyeball test. When I see CeeDee Lamb, yeah. he's going to make you miss yes. off the line of scrimmage. Yes. He's going to make you miss with the ball in his hand. And he's going to one-handed catch. He do everything. Let me ask you about Sherm. He reverses and all let, that? Me, let me ask you about Sherm, Shady. Sh Sherm. Sherm. Okay. What was, obviously, he's a, a friend of the show. He's on Undisputed. He's a hell of a player. A hell of a player. But did you view Sherm like you viewed Pat P? Hold on. Let me, can I can I Oh yeah, you play wide out. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I answer first? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, ask Sherm was a dog. No I, doubt. I'm a big Sherm linky, long, no smart, doubt. right? But but I Get think to the but, point. but I think Patrick P's better. Mm. Why? I think, oh, more versatile. Yeah. More more talented. But more, was was Sherm not the best? On his team? Sherm was like the best in the world. So what are we argue. arguing about? Ooh, he he, 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 like he is the number yeah. one, and then there's a number one on, on the Vikings, and there's a number one on the yeah. Eagles, and there's a number one on any James, of these good offenses. Would you have said Sherm was a lockdown corner? Um, yes, I okay. would have said Sherm was a, a lockdown beast. corner. Now, I played against Sherm. A lot of problems he presents, right? He's long, physical, hey. super smart, right? Wow. Really, really good cornerback. But oh. I think from this point that we're saying is, is we're not saying that Sherm is not a really good football player, first ballot Hall, Hall of Fame. Fame. I think first we're ballot. coming down to the respect factor now. Yes, You respect it. Patrick Peterson more because I was in the huddle when Patrick Peterson was standing in the middle of the huddle, like, what's, see what, where what you side going? JJ going on? And I used to play with him, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, But he did that with everybody, and he would go on the slot. He would go he on did. the outside. He didn't care where you went. If he was in the backfield, he was sitting there waiting for you at linebacker. Yeah. This, that's, that's how he was. So I think it's just he got more respect so is that more, for doing that. Is that more versatile, though? Yes. So, it's, so, it's, so, so it's, say, see, he's more versatile. It's, it's so, I can play outside, and, but inside. But that's all I'm saying, Shady. He has not shown that consistently until this year. And that's why you even he's hear the cornerbacks coming. last year. Wes Welker was an all-pro in the slot. He had number one. He earned it. <laughs> Not number one, but he earned it. He earned it. So, not number one, but he earned it. That's all we saying. He lived in the spot. He ain't a number one. You got to do all of this. That's sweet. We be right hey. there. That's commercial. You heard the man. <laughs> when we return, the Broncos, they shot the Bills. But is Russell Wilson officially back? Yo, we rolling on Speak today. Subscribe here to get the latest from Speak. And go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.